Hello, I'm Sarah from Allcraft TV and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to crochet this easy self-striping oversized infinity scarf. Last week I showed you how to crochet easy wrist warmers using a yarn cake and today I will be using the rest of the cake to make this scarf. This is a great project for beginners if you want to make something easy so that you can wear it in winter or if you are a more experienced crocheter and just want an easy project to make for winter. I hope you like this tutorial and if you have any questions please comment below and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And with that let's get crocheting. For this project I'll be using the rest of my Lincraft cake but you can use any type of cake or yarn that you'd like and I used about 150 grams to make this scarf. It is also self-striping so you can let the yarn do all of the work and not have to worry about changing colour and weaving in those dreaded ends. I'll be using a 6mm hook, a yarn needle and scissors to complete this project. And this here is the oversized infinity scarf. You can see that the colour repeats itself nicely throughout the scarf and I did a total of 10 rows. I say rows because we will be working in the row, not the round, and just attaching the two ends together when finished to make the infinity scarf. To begin we need to make a slip knot and you can do this any way that you know how to. Now to make this scarf oversized for an adult I chain 260 plus 2. But if you want to just adjust this to fit yourself, chain in multiples of 1 plus 2. I am just doing a swatch to show you all the pattern. So to chain you need to yarn over and pull through for one chain, yarn over, pull through for two chains, yarn over, pull through for three chains and just continue to chain until you have 262 chains or have a multiple of 1 plus 2. And it needs to be large enough to wrap around your head twice. Once you have your desired chain length skip the first two chains and into the third chain from the hook we need to double crochet one. So yarn over, insert your hook into the chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops and yarn over and pull through two loops to double crochet one. Now double crochet one into the fourth chain from the hook, double crochet one into the fifth chain, double crochet one into the sixth chain, double crochet one into the seventh chain and just continue doing one double crochet in each chain until you get to your last chain. I will meet you up when I have finished this chain. Into this last chain we just need to do one double crochet to finish row 1. You should have a solid row of double crochets. For row 2 we need to chain 2 and turn our work. The chain 2 doesn't act as a stitch, it is just a turning chain. So double crochet 1 into the very first stitch. Double crochet 1 into the second stitch. double crochet one into the third stitch, double crochet one into the fourth stitch and just continue doing one double crochet in each stitch all the way down the row. So I have three stitches left and I need to do one double crochet in each stitch to finish row two. So this is my third last double crochet, my second last double crochet, and my last double crochet for row 2. Just remember to count your stitches to make sure you aren't increasing or decreasing your rows. And if you chain 262 like me you will have 260 double crochets for every row. For row 3 to 10 we will just be repeating row 2. So I will show you how to do row 3 and then I will leave you to do row 4 to 10 by yourself. So begin row 3 by chaining 2 and turning your work Double crochet one into the very first stitch, 
double crochet one into the second stitch, double crochet one into the third stitch, double crochet one into the fourth stitch, and just keep doing one double crochet in each stitch all the way down to the end of the row like you did for row two. I have two stitches left for row three, so I'm going to do one double crochet in the second last stitch and one double crochet in the last stitch to finish row three. If you just keep repeating row two for a total of 10 rows, your scarf should be oversized and really long. You can leave the scarf as is, or you can pause the video and finish doing the next seven rows and I will show you how to turn this basic scarf into an infinity scarf. So I am just doing my last few double crochets for row 10 and this is my actual long scarf, not a swatch. Into this last stitch we need to double crochet one to finish row 10. This is what the self-striping yarn cake looks like after 10 rows of 260 double crochets each row. This yarn cake has a lovely pink striping pattern and I think it works really well on this scarf. You can leave the scarf like this and just wear it like a normal scarf or you can grab both ends and line them up next to each other. Make sure that when you join the two ends together that your scarf is not twisted in any way. You want it to be nice and flat when you join the ends together. If you have any variation in the colour of your yarn like I do, you can see that the colour doesn't quite flow very well. Don't worry about it, it will be hidden when you wrap the infinity scarf around your neck twice. To join these two ends together we need to chain one and now that they are lined up next to each other and we have chained one, we are going to join them together using the single crochet joining method. To do this we need to insert our hook into this double crochet and the double crochet on the other side. Yarn over, pull through, then yarn over and pull through to single crochet one. Single crochet one again into the same two double crochets. Now single crochet two into the next two double crochets that line up with each other. That's one single crochet. And two single crochets. Into the next two double crochets, we need to do two single crochets. That's one single crochet and two single crochets. Just continue this all the way along to join the work together. I have nearly joined my work together. So into these two double crochets, I'm going to do my usual two single crochets. Now into the last two double crochets, just single crochet two to finish joining the scarf together. To secure the work, chain one and pull up the loop then you need to just cut off the yarn and pull the loop through. Your work should look like this with a single crochet join that has created your oversized infinity scarf.
Don't worry too much about the join because it will be hidden when you place the join of the scarf at the back of your neck. All that is left to do is just weave in the ends. To weave in the ends you will need a yarn needle and insert the yarn through the eye of the needle. Then just weave the needle through the work to hide the ends. There is as far as I know no wrong or right way of weaving in your ends. Once you have weaved in your ends enough, just cut off the remaining strand to finish the scarf. And that has completed this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed crocheting this oversized infinity scarf as much as I did. And if you did, please hit the like button. And if you are new, please hit the subscribe button and that notification bell to stay up to date with my tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Have a lovely day.